Donuts at the Redneck Girlfriend CD release party, and we're gonna ask them a couple questions about like who they are and what do they play. You are? My name's Kirsten. I play bass. I'm Rebecca. I sing. I'm Tom. I play drums. I'm Sarah. I play rhythm guitar. I'm Johnny. Play electric guitar. Why don't you tell me about how long you guys have been together? I think we've been together three years or something. Rebecca and I. Is this? <laughs> uh, no, we've been together about three years. Um, Rebecca and I met through a mutual friend, and Rebecca had wanted to start uh, an all-female uh, rockabilly band. That didn't quite work out. We have two men, but they're great, and yeah, about three years. So I heard you guys toured with Wanda Jackson. Why don't you tell me a little bit about that? All right, yeah, we, uh, we did Wanda Jackson's Northwest tour, and uh, we backed her, we, we opened for her, and then we backed her, so we were her musicians, and it was awesome. She's a great singer, and she was total dear to play with. It's always fun to see Wanda Jackson. What's your favorite song to play with her? Uh, what's the one that kept going on and on? What's the one where she pinched your ass? <laughs> some oh, yeah. some song. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was favorite. Favorite. Yeah, that one. When, when Wanda really liked Jonathan. Good. She actually, there was some song where she came up and she looked at my finger while I was playing to see if I was married and she said, oh, he's single. So. I've heard you've gone through quite a few drummers in the past couple years. You want to talk a little bit about that? <laughs> we have. Tom, close your ears. <laughs> Tom's our current drummer and he's great. All our drummers have been great. Um, he's our final drummer, actually. Yeah, yeah. we won't be getting any more. We've at least that. played with... I don't know. Six or seven. Yeah, at least. And they've all been very talented, talk just, you know. Well, I, I'm not. So this is going to be the firm lineup of you guys? That's good to I've hear. I'm trying to work out, so I'm trying to increase the firmness. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Is a workout tape in the works? Yeah. Rockabilly workout? Yeah. <laughs> and are you guys recording anything? Uh, not right this second, but uh, we hope to be recording earlier, early next year. We're going to go back into the studio and record some, a new uh, CD. What studio is that? I heard somebody's building a studio. Uh, yeah, that would be me. That's what I'm supposed to do in my spare time when we're not practicing. But yeah, I'm building a little studio in the basement. We actually did the vocals for our last CD. Uh, Rebecca did all of her recording there. And uh, yeah, just trying to get it done. It'll be great. It'll be fun. Now, Rebecca, I heard that you yodel. You want to give us a little sample of that? Um, all right. Hello, dear, hello, dear, hello, 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 dear. Wow, that was great. Thank you. Well, we'll enjoy the show tonight. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you.
even weep. I put a little time and I'm a cheap little boy. Oh boy. Let me down, my boy. Oh boy. Have a fun, my boy. Let me say what you're doing. Well, let me down, my boy. You always feeling shy. Well, let me down, my boy. But you caught my eye. I'm pretty boy. Yeah, I was impressed. But I was the same thing. I was just a little boy. Oh boy. Let me down, my boy. Oh boy. Have a fun, my boy. Let me say what you're doing. watching Go Custom TV. We're here with Vitala Hawkins. He's a photographer for Go Custom and also part of the triple shot exhibit that was at Art Not Terminal not too long ago. 
Vitala, how did you get into photography? Uh, well, I basically started in seventh grade. Um, it was uh, a photography club, uh, after school kind of thing, and it was mainly black and white. Um, I guess I'd have to attribute it, most of it to my dad, though, because he did a lot of uh, like eight, mini eight millimeter filming mm -hmm. for drag races and things like that, and that's kind of what got me into the whole hot rod deal in photography. Cool. So you started off with um, what kind of camera, what kind of photography were you taking a lot of? <laughs> um, basically, I was like the high school photographer. I was doing the annual, I was doing the paper. Um, didn't do a lot of art back then, but that was, you know, seventh and eighth grade. Um, whatever the class was asking me to do is what I would take. Who have you photographed lately? Um, actually, well, my most recent project is um, I'm working on a calendar for the Glitz Creek Burlesque Troupe here in Seattle. Mm -hmm. um, but before that, I've uh, just photographed a lot of friends as models for pinup. Um, that's kind of actually where I, my whole... Including uh, the Go Custom Go Girl pinup cards. <laughs> Sorry, little plug. <laughs> yes, including a few of those. And you would be on one of those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what kind of medium do you use? Do you use film or digital or what a mixture? Uh, pretty much, I'm strictly digital now. Digital. Um, I just I find the feedback a lot quicker uh, when I'm shooting in the studio. I'm able to download right to a laptop, have the girl look at them right there. Like we can basically, I can complete a shoot in an entire day, okay. or like in three hours, depending on how long the shoot goes. <laughs> do you use a lot of um, with digital? Do you a lot of do a lot of photo manipulation, or do you just leave it as is, or do you play around with all the tools and toys? Uh, well, I certainly like to play with all the tools and toys, but most of the photography that I do, I try to make as natural as I can in the original shot. I try to not do as, like, as much touch-up as necessary. I mean, as far as pinup girls go, you know, like, I take out all the, you know, all the necessary things to make the girls look really, really pretty. <laughs> a little bit prettier than you would see, you know, normally. Um, but I try to keep them as natural as I can. Now, other than just girls, I heard you shot some cars and bands. You want to talk a little bit about that? Sure, I can talk a little bit about that. Uh, cars, I just shoot. Um, they're just friends that have cars, or I'll go to car shows and photograph a lot of that kind of stuff. Uh, not too much in that right now. The band thing, though, that's kind of something I've been trying to make a career out of. Mm -hmm. I actually shoot for um, the Phoenix Underground downtown. Mm -hmm. um, every now and then when a show comes through, he'll give me a call up and have me come down and shoot bands. I've shot My Life with Real Kill Cult, Modern English, um, Cookie. Um, I actually do a lot of ph photography with Dragster Bryant. Um, a lot of uh, the photos that are probably on their website, uh, a fair amount of them came from me. Oh, uh, Redneck I've, I've also, Girlfriend. I've also photographed Redneck Girlfriend, the All-American Playboys. Um, trying to think of the bigger names. Oh, KMFDM. Cool. Now, when you photograph a band that's like a live event, stuff like that, do you find, uh, do you find that's more challenging to get the right shot or than a pose setting in studio? Uh, actually, for me, it is only because I don't use flash when I shoot live photography. I'm trying to capture what uh, the audience is seeing, mm -hmm. not what, like, you know, so you can see everybody in this, on stage. Um, and actually, that's um, one of the photos in the show is from a Jenna Torturer's show um, where the drummer is completely green. And I've been asked many times how I got it that green. It's not photoshopped. It's not touched up in any way. That's how the lighting was on the drummer. Very cool. And about the show, you want to tell us a little bit where we could have seen your artwork? The show that I'm in right now is uh, currently up at Art Not Terminal. That's uh, downtown uh, Seattle here right next to Fantasy Unlimited. And how long will it be there? It'll be there until uh, October 6th. Oh, cool. Well, thank you. Thank you. And check out the show. We're here with the bad things at the Carnival Reverie, and we're going to learn a little bit about them. Who are you and what do you play? Uh, my name's Jeff McBee, and I play banjo. I am Lovica Lafemme, and I play percussion. Jimmy the pickpocket, accordion, and vocals. I'm Stanislav the gypsy, and I play guitar. I'm Henry Hershey the lopsided man, and I play bass. How long 
have you guys been together? Four? Four months. Four months. Yeah. yeah. Four. And who writes all the songs? I write all the songs. Jimmy the Pickpocket. Your major influences? Uh, Jimmy the Pickpocket. <laughs> <laughs> and Jimmy, who are they? What's that? What are your influences? Or the uh, alcohol. That's a good one. A lot of people have that one. And what are your influences? Um, like Darth Vader and Slayer. Good choice. Midnight Choir. Stereo Lab. Uh, classical music. Well, it looks like it's a good combination of things. So, how would you describe your music? Train wreck. Like Anybody else? Players? Drunken cabaret. Junkyard cabaret. Junkin. Junkin? <laughs> Junkin. 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 Sounds like alcohol is a requirement. Drunken, drunken. <laughs> what is your connection to the Midnight Choir? Uh, Henry Hershey and I uh, played in that band. I played accordion and he played bass. And any projects in the works? Anything coming out? Uh, we have our EP that's out right now, done by Mr. D.A. Sebastian. And uh, we're doing a soundtrack to a play uh, in a couple weeks. This may have a plot. Cool. Well, we'll look forward to it. Thank you.
we should interview for Go Custom Television, you can contact us at Go Custom, PO Box 77750, Seattle, Washington 98177-0750. You can also check out our website for more information at www.gocustom.com.